briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2001, the Supreme Court settled a dispute centered around an old sand and gravel pit in suburban Chicago, the migratory birds that frequented it, and a contentious definition of navigable waters under the Clean Water Act. Swansea, a consortium of suburban Chicago cities and villages, aim to transform the pit into a disposal site for non-hazardous solid waste. Their plans were stymied by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. The Corps refused to greenlight the project, claiming the pit fell under their jurisdiction due to the Clean Water Act's migratory bird rule, as the pit served as habitat for migratory birds. The case culminated in the Supreme Court after the Corps' power was upheld by the lower courts. However, after deliberation, the Supreme Court reversed the Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit's decision. The Court ruled that the Corps' interpretation of navigable waters fell short when applied to isolated bodies of water like the gravel pit. Through this ruling, the Court clarified that navigable waters under Section 404A of the Clean Water Act referred only to waters capable of being used for transport or commerce and directly adjacent to open waters. Tackling the notion of the migratory bird rule, the court asserted that it was not supported by the Clean Water Act. It admonished that any administrative interpretation encroaching on a traditional state power, such as water regulation, necessitated a clear statement from Congress, something decidedly absent in this instance. Thus, the Supreme Court held that the Corps had exceeded its authority in attempting to assert jurisdiction over isolated ponds, stripping them of any administrative deference and putting a finer point on the interpretation of navigable waters in the Clean Water Act. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.